I think I want to start a new hobby. Hmm. What about football? I don't like football. There's too much running around. Uh, rock climbing? <sighs> rock climbing's too dangerous. What about swimming? Oh, I hate swimming. It's too wet. Horse riding? <laughs> I am scared of horses. Skiing? You can't ski in England. Do you enjoy anything? I love sleeping. The gerund form of a verb always ends in ing. For example, talking, doing, seeing. The gerund form of a verb is special because it is used only when the verb is acting as a noun. For example, I hate swimming. I don't really. But in this sentence, I hate swimming, the word swimming is being used as a noun, not as a verb. You could swap the word swimming for another noun and the sentence would still make perfect sense. Oh, I do hate interrupting, but I also love informing you about great opportunities. Oh, look at that. I just gave you two more examples of verbs acting as nouns. Do you miss swimming when the pool is closed? The main verb is miss. The word swimming, while it looks like a verb, is acting as a noun because we're using the verb in the gerund form. We often use verbs in the gerund form when giving opinions about activities like sports, paired with the infinitive form of the main verb. In the sentence, I love sleeping, the verb love is the infinitive form and the noun sleeping is actually the verb to sleep but in its gerund form. Let's look at some more examples of the verb in the gerund form. <coughs> <coughs> I don't feel like working right now, I'm sick. We can't stand watching talent shows, they're so long. I love listening to podcasts, you can learn anything. Can you think of another example? Tell you what, you have 10 seconds to write your own sentence which uses an infinitive verb and the gerund form of a verb in the comments. And while you do that, I'm gonna have a little dance. Doing, but here we go. Okay, hopefully you've written something now and I can get back to something that I'm good at and stop dancing. So now that we know how to talk about opinions, let's learn how to talk about plans. The sentence structure for talking about plans and opinions are very similar because just like the examples we've just used, you still use two verbs when talking about plans. We arranged to play tennis this weekend, but the weather is horrible. In this sentence, the main verb arranged describes a plan or a wish to do a certain activity. And then we use the word to followed by the infinitive form of the verb to describe the activity itself. So remember the difference. We use the gerund form of the verb when talking about opinions. I don't like listening to pop music. We use the infinitive form of the verb with to before it to talk about plans. I'm hoping to go to university next year. Does that make sense? I hope so, because now we're going to test your new skills with a quiz. There are going to be five questions. In each one, I'm going to read a sentence twice. The first time I will use the infinitive form of the verb, and the second time I will use the gerund form of the verb then you're going to have around five to ten seconds to write down which sentence is correct. After your time is up, I will tell you the correct answer. So, here goes. Number one, first sentence. She wants to buy a new dress. Second sentence. She wants buying a new dress. Okay, time up. The correct answer is option A. She wants to buy a new dress. 
We use the infinitive verb because this is a plan, not an opinion. Question two. Option A. Do you enjoy to bake? Option B. Do you enjoy baking? Okay, the correct answer is B. Do you enjoy baking? We use the gerund form of the verb because we're asking about an opinion, not a plan. Okay, question three. Option A. I plan to cook dinner at 7 p.m. Option B. I plan cooking dinner at 7 p.m. And the correct answer is option A. I plan to cook dinner at 7 p.m. because this is a plan. We use the infinitive verb. Question four. Option A. They agreed to travel by coach. Option B. They agreed travelling by coach. The correct answer is option A. They agreed to travel by coach. And finally, question five. Option A. Lucy can't stand to travel by plane because it's uncomfortable. Option B. Lucy can't stand travelling by plane because it's uncomfortable. The correct answer is option B. Lucy can't stand travelling by plane because it's uncomfortable. We use the gerund form because we're talking about Lucy's opinion. Okay, so that's the end of the quiz. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I have to take my leave, say goodbye. But don't worry, I am going to be back. Oh, in fact, I'm in one of these lessons. I'm in both of these lessons here. Why not come and see me again? And then we won't miss each other so much. What are you talking about, Anna? Okay, 